Welcome back guys to Boats vs. Hallover, a five round competition where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. And man, when I see these charter boats coming out and it looks like this, we know it's going to be a tough one for our captains today. I'm just guessing some of the people on this charter vessel already regret coming out of Hallover. Let's see if our captains have the same regret as they try to do the same. Let's go ahead and get this competition started and we'll step into our first round. Our first round competitors going to start making their way out of Hallover Inlet and here we've got a deep impact. This is typically more than a capable boat of doing battle with Hallover, but Hallover is absolutely firing today. This is one of the roughest days I've seen in a long time, and it's going to be interesting to see if any of our captains can pull this off today. Here we can see this vessel starting to pick up the pace a little bit and trying to battle its way out of Hallover, but Hallover is throwing haymakers, and man, even just the sounds of the boat smacking sound rough, and this crew quickly has to pull back on that throttle and slow back down. They haven't stuffed the bow or anything crazy yet, but it doesn't really matter. It's a rough day. This looks like it sucks, just being honest. I'm not sure why anybody would even try going out today unless you just absolutely had to. And even though this crew does successfully make it out of the inlet, I'm still gonna go ahead and give this round a haul over because they took an absolute pounding on the way out. Let's go ahead and step into our second round and see if that competitor has any better luck. Our second round competitor starts to make their way out of Hallover, and it's a big CV, and once again, a more than capable boat of absolutely annihilating Hallover. My man pulls back on the throttle right here, and that's a mistake. We're stuffing the bow. He probably should have kept that throttle up a little bit, but once again, it's a big day, and it's intimidating. I don't blame him at all on that one. He's trying to make it out and stuffs the bow again. This is really awesome unusual for a big CV. We don't usually see these guys stuff the bow at all. Once again, he slowed down just a little bit. It threw him off his game, and man, that was one heck of a stuffing right there. The free haulover decorance is in full effect. And of course, we've only got a few rules on this channel, and one of the basic rules is, if you stuff the bow, you take a loss. So unfortunately, the boats will take a loss in this second round. But once again, this is kind of to be expected. Haulover's firing in all cylinders, and just about anybody who comes out the inlet today is going to have a rough time. Hopefully our contestant in the third round can turn this around because this could be a quick day for the boats if they can't. Here are third round contestants coming out and we got a big cigarette and my man is sending it. He's got the throttles nailed, which is kind of unexpected, especially as rough as it is today. But these guys look pretty good. They're coming out the inlet and man, they might make, oh no, did he stuff the bow? Here we can see they're coming out. They've got the throttle down. You can tell they got some trim tab going because the bow is down. And these guys right here are gonna come up on a wave. They come diving down and no, they pull it out. I can't believe it. This cigarette absolutely sends it out of haul over on one of the roughest days we've seen and quickly turns it around and takes a win for the boats here in the third round. Now, even though our third round contestants kind of saved the day, the boats still need the fourth round contestant to come in and do the exact same thing. Here in the fourth round, we're going to have a conch returning back into Hallover, and this is still a tough call. This is a heavy following sea, and it's going to take some precision to go ahead and get this boat safely back into the inlet without stuffing the bow. Here this crew comes up high, perches on top of a wave, and they're running themselves right into the inlet. Right now, things look pretty solid. They're keeping the bow high, keeping a good pace, and right here we're going to dive down. They don't quite stuff it. They pull it out, and this vessel will absolutely take a win for the boats here in the fourth round as well. And that will take us into our fifth and final round tied it to a piece, and let's see who will take the win in this episode, whether it will be the boats or Hallover Inlet. Here in the fifth round, we're gonna see a Sax 40. And man, these guys take a heck of a smack right out the gates. And these guys are just barely keeping the boat on plane. They're not running at a terrible pace, but I mean, it's just big. It's gonna be rough for this boat to make it out safely. And look at my man at the rear of this boat, kinda hiding behind the captain's chairs, trying to make sure he doesn't get wet, but probably having that instant regret of like, what in the world are we doing out here today? I'm not sure if this is a test ride, if this crew decided they just wanted to come out and have a good time, but this isn't a good time for anybody, <laughs> and this vessel is absolutely getting smacked around. And I'm not really sure that there's an answer for this vessel. Sometimes I would say give it a little more throttle, get it a little bit more up on plane, and let it slice through the waves, but in this situation, I don't think that's going to help. It's just too rough, and Hallover is going to do what it wants to do to almost any boat that comes through the inlet today. I will give this crew a little bit of credit, though. They're trying to battle their way through Hallover. They're giving Hallover all it can handle, but Hallover just keeps throwing haymakers. There's really not much this vessel can do, but let Hallover take its way with them, and Hallover does it. 
They stuff the bow, and that's going to be the finishing touch. Oliver will take a win in this round and a win in this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens to the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.